After visiting Shirley Plantation, leaving Virginia sounded like a great way for me to process these heavy emotions that were just flowing through me. And since leaving, I've been praying to the Most High about my internal feelings of something being hidden, unspoken of, swept under the rug, about the enslaved and the profit this plantation enjoys today. See, a verse came to me, and it was Luke 12, 2. It says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. See, I believe the Most High is a lover of truth, and to gain a better understanding of the world, carnal and spiritual, history and religion, you have to know the people that have been intentionally eradicated out of history. Creating my own family tree, hearing stories from my elders, visiting ancestral sites, and doing a DNA test has become a part of my journey now. And where will the Most High take me next? I don't know. But until then, I'll be in Washington, D.C. and Maryland reflecting and decomposing. And I will say that this experience may have changed my life forever. I guess you can tell from behind me where I am, <laughs> your girl be moving, okay? After visiting Virginia, I needed to go to a city and the city that I chose to go to is Washington, D.C. There's the Library of Congress right there. And unfortunately, I am I made it here seven minutes before closing. So they're about to close, which is okay. I will come back when they're open. Uh, there's Capitol right there. <laughs> yeah, so I am going to explore this political government playground right here. <laughs> Is that a good way to put it? <laughs> I have done some research into signs and symbols a long time ago. Kind of forgot a lot of it, not all of it. But when I saw this water display here, it just made me wonder what signs and symbols are embedded in these sculptures. buildings are humongous my goodness they look like castles humongous <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. U.S. Capitol. We gotta see what type of visitation they have if I can go inside while I'm down here in Washington, D.C. But this is... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
The building is huge. This is my first time down in Washington, D.C. And um, I will say um, I'm definitely impressed by the architect down here. Um, the landscape, the architect. And I appreciate the shade I'm getting right now because it's pretty hot down here. But, yeah. No, it's tile, I think. Just soaking everything in. Everything. I'm really not a political person, so that's enough of me for Washington, D.C. I need to get out of there, too. I found somewhere to sleep tonight. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, and this place does allow overnight parking. I'm actually at a rest stop for the night. I am, it's um, called Laurel Rest Stop in Laurel, Maryland. <clears throat> they allow overnight camping. As you can see, there's a bunch of cars parked down this this road here. I've seen some sprinters as well, some RVs. Um, this place looks very festive. <laughs> but I feel safe out here because I won't be alone. Yeah. I was looking for some place to stealth camp in Washington, D.C., but I just couldn't find one. Um, so I came here. This is about 40 minutes from the Library of Congress. So it's only about 19 20 miles which is not bad just want to give you guys an overview of the rest stop it's very busy I picked this location because the reviews on it were good Said that it's monitored, uh, secured, and you can camp here. As you can tell, it's very busy here. It's like an amusement park or something. It's just a rest area, but uh, plenty of people. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that's a pretty tree. What kind of tree is that? That's pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the restroom. Check that out. Really clean. Taking care of business. <laughs> Bathrooms were fairly decent. Clean, pretty much. People just need to learn how to flush toilets. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to show you they have vending machines all around for snacks. I don't need any of this stuff. But they have them. And over there is where all the truckers go, and the highway's right there. Yeah. <sighs> Finally, somewhere to park and rest. Yeah. Because I have to map out my itinerary for the next few days down here as far as what I want to see and what I want to do. I didn't know they had a Bible museum down in Washington DC um, so I think I'm going to do that tomorrow 
The Library of Congress is closed for two more days. So they're closed on Sundays and Mondays um, for visitors. I think they're open for researchers. And I don't know how you become considered a researcher. I don't know what credential that is. I have to look that up. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do tonight in my van. Figure out what I want to see while I'm down here. See, they even have a sign. It says rest areas are patrolled frequently by Maryland State Police and State Highway. Um, so, hey, they're patrolled. Hallelujah. So I think I found a good parking spot. Um, I was going to park in this spot right here, but I didn't feel comfortable parking on top of this drain here. I don't know what lived down here, and I don't need my engine up under it. <laughs> but I like it because I like parking back here because this is the door that I access. So there's not going to be too many people on this side of my door. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I'm weird. <laughs> but yep, that's where I am. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you can join me on this journey that I have. So until then, I'll see you on the next video.